Hi, how are you, Brad? I'm wonderful. How are you? <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you for having us here in the what is this? The middle of nowhere, somewhere in Colorado, right? just outside of Gateway, <laughs> Colorado, and on our own private trophy truck track. So we're here for the Colorado CR2 first drive. And can you tell us a little bit of the difference between this and the regular one? First and foremost, that you can see from the outside is the more aggressive stance of the ZR2. Yeah. Sits two inches higher. It's about three inches wider. We've got 31 inch off-road tires. We've got Multimatic DSSV dampers, which are exclusive to the ZR2. Well, and like fact, Formula One grade, right? That is actually where they came from, correct. Yeah, okay. First time they've ever been purposed for an off-road vehicle though. Okay, excellent. And that is, that's what we're really trying to highlight here on this course, where we're gonna use the full travel of the suspension, and hopefully you come away feeling that it does a phenomenal job. Okay, let's go. Seatbelt. So, um, obviously there's different uh, mode, uh, driving modes, but there we are. start on regular. So let's wait for this truck to come around. Okay. We'll be going slower than him in our outlap, so we'll let him get ahead of us and then we can sneak out. Yeah, so we're, we are in the default startup mode right now, and as we go through the laps, we're going to work through some of the moding and allow you to experience how the truck feels differently. How many modes? We, we, well, it's a difficult question to say. What we're going to do is default, then we're going to go to off-road mode. Okay. And what off-road mode does is allows us to access some different settings of the stability control and traction until you can basically step everything off oh, and okay. the driver is in complete control. Excellent. It'll so do a few other things along the way that I'll explain as we get there. Excellent. Go. So we're going to do an air recon now, lap first? Or? So we're going to just take this one easy we'll do it at about 30 miles an hour so you can get okay. a lay of the land all of our events have a speed limit sign next to them okay we've chosen these speeds so that you get the best experience out of the truck but we're not at risk of hurting ourselves or the vehicle okay if, there, if you're on a long open stretch where it's otherwise unmarked let's just assume 45 miles an hour so very sandy terrain also. Here We've got we a nice mix around this track. We've got a little thing, a bit of everything for you. Long sweeping turn here. It starts to get a little firmer at this part of the track. A couple potholes and ruts. Yeah, from outside doesn't, doesn't seem that fast, but when you it's are on the wheel, yeah. Isn't it? You're ready to you feel All the right. power. So 40 miles an hour for this event. Perfect. Here, let me pull up the speedo for you. You're good. Keep going. Oh, now okay. you've got yeah, a digital I wasn't one. It's a little time. easier okay. to read, right? Yeah. So this one's a little more extreme. We're going to hit this one at 30. And I like what you're doing there. You're letting it coast down. Yeah. Whatever you do, please don't break into the event, right? Yeah. We don't want to load up the suspension. So take this one, start real wide. Oh, okay. And shoot a diagonal up the hill. Let the banking catch the truck. Oh, I see. It. And it'll set us up nicely to go into this one. Stay wide as well. There you go. We've got a couple of S turns here. A pretty nice truck that you designed here. I don't know if it was here, but it's... It was here, and they actually ran a, a trophy truck experience. Oh, I see. Folks could pay money and come out and bomb around here in a... A little drift in there, not uh, too yeah. much. So today's all about showing more of the high-speed elements of the truck. Yeah. Tomorrow, you're going to go rock crawling. You're going to utilize four low. You'll experience the lockers. You'll be able to see how large of an event we can get the trucks over. And by the time you leave here, you're gonna know all the facets and different dimensions of the vehicle. So this turn is called patient. Okay. Stay wide, brake early, it's really tight. The idea is then you can shoot back across the inside of it. Get the off-road, oh. there you go. I got ahead of myself. Sit one push in the center. You've got a message saying you've enabled. You've got yeah. the little icon. 
you're going to feel a couple things right away as far as the powertrain response goes. We've changed the throttle map. So it's actually, more direct? Much more direct, more intuitive, especially for off-road driving. It also helps to have a bit of a damping feature so that when you're bouncing around, yeah. your foot isn't going to cause as much modulation of the engine speed. Likewise, the transmission's working in concert. It's gonna hold gears longer. This has a new eight-speed transmission, right? This truck does, that is correct. And the horsepower is 308? Correct. At this point, we've also altered the ABS calibration a little bit. So it's gonna allow a little bit more slip, which is friendly for these types of soft, yeah. deformable surfaces. And we started to loosen up our traction control a bit more. We caught a little air there, right? Yes, you did. I guarantee it. It's very right. amazing. Like I said, we stay yeah. wide, drive up diagonal across the hill, let it catch you. Good. See how nice we're set up for the next yeah. one? Take it very much the same way. Shoot across the middle and up. There you go. Oh yeah, I can see the throttle response immediately. Just a little bit gives you a lot of power. You know, I say stay wide on this one. Let's use some of the cleaner track. Yeah. There you go. You let tires off the ground that time for sure. But you you're not feeling any violent crashes. No, There's I mean no it's pretty. Thuds. I mean. We're off-roading, obviously, and going at kind of high speed, but it doesn't feel that uncomfortable or like safe or anything. It's really a nice drive. It's the beauty of the dampers that we're yeah. using. So there, it was very obvious we were getting some intervention from the traction and stability control. It started yeah. to slow us down. So I'm going to give a single tap of the traction control button. So 40. What that'll do is that'll help take some of those controls out of the way. Okay. So that you can spin the tires, rotate the truck the way you want to on this sort of a track. There you go. Shoot for the inside where it's nice and firm. I'd say you can go ahead and run there in the clean, soft stuff. Take it a little wider here. There's no reason we have to follow everyone else's ruts. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Took that one a little hot, didn't I you? I know. That's pretty cool. At this point, the stability control is really stepping out of the way. Yeah. It only intervenes when you start getting into a lot of corrective counter steer, right? Okay. That way you can you can have a little bit of yaw air, a little bit more fun with the vehicle, but you still have the system to assist you help if you, you want. Help you exactly when it's needed. This is the one where it benefits to stay a little wide, run the clean dirt up banking a bit more. A lot more enjoyable out there. Yeah, for all the jumping and like extreme things we're doing, the cabin still is pretty quiet. It's pretty amazing. These trucks went through an entire afternoon of this yesterday and will like continue new. to be serving us through the week. What do you need? You've got one lap oh, left. So this will be the last time across this event. Alright. So last thing I'm going to demonstrate to yeah. you, we're going to turn off the stability control entirely. So it's only me now. It's all you. Okay, let's see. <laughs> the truck is good. I, I don't know how good I am. Well, I can tell you, you're getting familiar with the track. You got a good idea what's coming next. Yeah. There's a little traction there.
nice and gentle. You know, the thing is, when you're turning, it was difficult to see the. Yep, I, I know exactly the, the speed. what you're saying. Uh, I mean, it's kind of deceiving because it's so smooth too. You're going a little faster, but it doesn't seem to be doing that much. Nicely, nicely done. You strung those together perfectly. Lap somebody. <laughs> it's a truck, it's not me. <laughs> All right, let's give them a little breathing yeah. room just in case something were to happen. So, hopefully, you felt the difference. Oh, absolutely, we yeah. You, you really have to be paying more attention because obviously, I'm not an expert, expert driver. But the truck is really, yeah, it helps you even without the system because the steering is still there and the damping also like helps a lot. I mean, even when you jump a little bit, it helps you feel comfortable mm -hmm. because you know what's going to do in that. Yeah, it's, it's an easy truck to drive. Everyone that gets into it, whether they've been in one of our mid-sized trucks before or not, they feel comfortable. Obviously, it, it'll fit down a tight little trail very easily, Yeah. yet it still has a remarkable amount of capability. And space for passengers and cargo. Yes, sir. All right, so. Great. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you. Mm -hmm.